Hey, Dr. Tom Hansen here at the Playbig Academy in Tampa, Florida. First off, with the toast to the Boston Red Sox. Cheers. Congratulations on a fantastic World Series. Very impressive run. Beat some good teams, especially a very good Cardinal team. And I was impressed with the way they did it. And I mentioned it as being the easy way because they went all in on team. They were locked in from the get-go. It's the same story you hear every year, right? It's like, hey, right from the start of the year, we were all about playing great baseball and winning as a team rather than all about me. And it's one thing to say that, it's another thing to actually do it. And uh, it's kind of likened to how uh, I was also thinking about this metaphor. It's a very familiar metaphor for having to do with like consciousness in that the part that of the ice that's above the water is what we're conscious of. And the part of the ice that's below the water is what we're not conscious of. And we're really run by our non-conscious. We're really, really, really run in all aspects of life by safety. By safety as being our number one concern. We want to stay safe. And when we're safe, then we're freed up to access our talent. And when we're not safe, then we clamp down. And so um, when you have a player who's not performing well, one of the main things that you'll see in sports psychology and mental game stuff is like, hey, do your routine. Have a pre-pitch routine focus in. You got to focus and breathe. And that's great. I teach that all the time. Did a workshop the other day. And that's mostly what we talked about of what to do on the field. Given, okay, the bullets are flying. What should you do? For me, it's ABCs. Act big, breathe big, commit big. That's what you do between pitches and no matter hit, hitting, pitching, or defense. But the big leagues where I really spend most of my time nowadays, because I work so much one-on-one -on -one with people, is in the the below the surface level with the really what's going on. Um, the ABCs or so any routine is an, is an effort to channel what comes up in, in someone's mind, take the, the perceptions, the belief system that they have, how do you do the best you can with that, that's what the ABCs are at. And what, what's really of interest to me is dealing with what's deeper in there with someone and upgrading that because that's what makes a player great. You don't see these players necessarily doing, I mean, they have their routines, but they're there because they believe it. They have, oh, how'd that guy make it with that swing? Well, he's got a lot of talent, first of all. And what he also has is he totally buys in 100% to his swing. He buys in, um, He's he is not worried about it. He's not wondering if his swing is good enough, anywhere near as much, I should say, as lower level people. So um, it's the makeup. It's the guy's makeup, is what I'm saying, is that he belongs. I was just talking with a dad who's like, oh, my son was, uh, like, tilted the field. It's like, say it about Joe Namath. Like, he stepped on the field. It was like you could feel him. And now he's lost that. And that's what happens to players almost always. You can, you can almost track a player. He, like, gets better, gets better, gets better. And then something happens, and he plateaus or starts to go down. He loses that mojo. I want to know what happened there. Why did you give away your power? What was going on there? And that stuff that ends up being the deeper stuff. And that's what we clear. And that's what I clear with the tapping and, and the, the more powerful tools that I use than simply um, taking a breath and focusing, which again are enormously important. But I, I, I really just wanted to emphasize that so you start to get this idea or so that you're, re you're reminded of this idea because you, you know this, but um, it's easy to forget it that you've got the part that's a, the, what you're talking to when you're telling a player to do something is cortex to cortex. So it's like above, mostly above the, the water line to above the, the water line. And there's a lot more going on there. And as a coach, what do you do about that? Um, well, you create an environment where a person can start to feel safe because the more safe he feels the better access he has to his talent and as a player you want to get to know yourself you really need to get to know yourself at a, at a deeper and deeper level of how you think and what's going on there's so much more for all of us even though I've made like a, a whole adulthood about my own personal self-exploration and learning and helping other people do the same there's so much about myself I don't know <laughs> It's, am it's amazing. So it's like, okay, well, what can I do? What's the most powerful step? It's the Hanson Play Big Profile. You take this thing um, and you find out what's going on. Imagine a pitching coach not using video. It's like, how would you see what's really going on? Um, or a hitting coach, the same. I mean, yes, you can see some things, but 
there's no comparison to just going, oh, dip, dip. oh, you see what happened right here? Ah, yeah. See, that's where you're losing power. Well, I can show you where you're losing power with the Hanson Playmate profile as well. So either do that or don't. <laughs> and if you don't, then just be aware of what's going on. It's like, wow, there's, there's a lot going on. Let me pay attention to my own thoughts in such a way that I can start to get some insight into what's helping me and what's not. Because so much of my work, I, I can, can summarize it into taking the most efficient or straight line path toward uh, what you want to have. A less efficient mental guy with a mental game swings way out. He wants this course, but swings way out because of who knows why, <laughs> including him. Doesn't know why, but he starts to think this way, and then maybe he comes back, oh, and then he starts to think this way. And it's taken the long route. What, what having a great mental game is, what the Play Big Academy is all about, is efficiency, like mental efficiency, like hands A to B. You know, you're a coach A to B with your hands, not going out and around. Well, people go out and around mostly with their mental game. Very few guys are A to B with their efficiency, and that's what the Red Sox did. They, as Because they were locked in on a team, they became very efficient. They didn't go on wild. Victorino is like two for 23, and then he he's a World Series. You think, oh, how is his playoffs? <laughs> Victorino was unbelievable. He was on fire. Well, he was two for 22 or something like that. <laughs> Not on fire. But he came up locked in on the at-bat that he was on. He didn't go up there two for 22. He's on this pitch. And that's efficiency. That's what I'm talking about. So you can find out how efficient your brain is with the Hanson Play Big Profile. Otherwise, just pay attention. All right.